this itself would set you apart over 99% of the different businesses out there. Do you like pickles? I don't, but I like business. So if you like pickles and you like business, make sure you guys watch this video as I react to the guys behind Kalen and Hobbs pickle empire to see whether they're the real deal or not. Make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable small business and a thriving food business. If you enjoy videos of me reviewing, analyzing other businesses, so then that way you can learn from it. So then that way you can take the learnings to apply it into your own business. Make sure you guys smash that like button. It shows me this is the type of content you enjoy. So then that way we just make more of this for you. So go ahead and smash that like button. All right, let's dive Chris and I in. bonded immediately. We both recognized we have the same passion. He goes, oh my God, the pickles here are horrible. We really wanted some good pickles ourselves. And the last thing I said to him was, you know, maybe we'll, maybe we'll do this together. A business? Pickles? I could do this. My name is Chris Hobson. I'm the Hobbs in Kalen and Hobbs Pickles. My name is Scott Kalen. I'm one of the co-founders of Kalen and Hobbs. So we're in Vancouver, beautiful British Columbia. This is one of the most fantastic places to live. When we came out here, every pickle was soft. They got shoved to the back of your fridge. So we wanted to change that. This is one of the things Chris and I were 100% aligned on. Do one thing and do it better than everyone else. For us, it was... That's the key, guys. That really is the key. First of all, doing one thing better than anyone else, that's beautiful. That is one of the key. But the key is understanding what is missing in the marketplace. I always say this, what is a problem in the market and you as a business is trying to solve? The problem is that pickles are oftentimes pushed to the back of the fridge and it's soggy, it's not good tasting, the texture is already off, the taste is not there. People that love pickles, they want something that is fresh, something that um, is the star of the show. That's the problem. And Kaylin and Hobbs, they're set out there to provide a solution to this problem. That truly is the key. And on top of that, added to an extra flavor is the fact that they want to be the best at making pickles. Combining the two, that's part of the reason why, without even watching this video, I know they're gonna be super successful. Guys, I'm just hopping in to share with you guys something super important and super time sensitive. If you're looking into starting a food business, but you just don't know where to start, or you just don't know where to start because you don't have the experience in doing so, you could end up making some very costly mistakes that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars or you focusing on the wrong things, draining your time and resource and money. And that's the reason why I created a free masterclass where I share with you how you can leverage Instagram in order for you to build your food business, whether it is a cloud kitchen operation, whether it's a home bakery, whether it is a food truck. This contains all the mistakes and learnings that I have encountered in my decade plus experience. These are things that I wish I had known when I first started. So if you guys are interested, then definitely check it out in the link below and enter through the free live masterclass. Making sure that we had the best, crunchiest, coldest, tastiest pickles on the West Coast. New York is the source of where the best pickles are made with 150 years of pickle making history. So we wanted to go to the source, meet with all the original pickling families and see who it was that we could partner with to do what we wanted to do here on the West Coast. Chris designed this amazing pickle bar. We brought in what we thought was going to be enough pickles for a month and six days later, sold out. At that point, we knew we were in business. These are just our classic crunchy kosher dills. It's our number one flavor. We call this our gateway pickle. When people branch out and try the other flavors, they start to get really engaged. We then got interest by a lot of uh, chefs in the city. What they ended up doing was taking it to a next level. Uh, right now we are- It's really cool to see what they do. Uh, see, a lot of people, they think about, you know what, I need a lot of different opportunities. I'm gonna do wholesaling, I'm gonna do catering, I'm gonna do parties, I'm gonna do events, and I'm also gonna like sell to our customers. That's usually the plan and dream of a lot of people of mass opportunity. But when you focus on doing one thing really well, 
the opportunities come to you. And when you're ready, then you take it on. As uh, what Hobbes was saying, the restaurants go to him. And the restaurants is able to elevate and bulk buy their pickles to serve in their restaurants and elevate it in a different level. Guys, the reason why I'm sharing this with you is that whenever we're building a business, whenever we're building a product, we don't need to rush the process. We just need to make sure we hone our craft and we make our product that good. Create that hero product in your product line. Don't go out there and create 10 different variations of your product when you haven't identified that hero product yet. The hero product should be an 80-20 rule. What does that mean? That means that your hero product should bring in 80%, if not more, of your, of your revenue. And if it does, that itself is your hero product. Now we are at the Yale Town Brewery. They really get inspired by what we've created and they want to do something with it. You've got our jalapeno pickles and they're done as these deep fried sticks. We've got our pickle pizza and then they've got their grilled cheese sandwich with the pickle on top. It's really cool that we're able to partner with like-minded local businesses that say, hey, let's create something together. We are at Loblaws City Market. A lot of times when you are in this environment, it's extremely busy. So how do we cut through that? Simplify. So looking at the labels, looking at the typography, making sure that it still feels whimsical and fun, but it's very clean and very simple. That's what you see when you look at the shelf. So it's a really interesting market and it's a totally different aspect of our business. That is so cool. This guy is clearly a designer. He knows what's aesthetically pleasing, not just by his pickle bar that looks fabulous. On brand, guys, on brand clean, this rustic environment, and really catering to who they're serving. Catering to who they're serving is key when it comes to not just their product, but also their designs, also the feeling that it invokes, the emotions that it draws from your consumers. That's what we need to pay attention to when it comes to branding. So we are in the original farmer's market in West Hollywood. They've been unbelievably receptive to us. They feel our passion for what we do. We're in the process now under construction to build our first U.S. pickle tasting bar. The tasting station here uh, will be set in and it's going to be on ice. You do sit back as an entrepreneur sometimes when you start a business and say, you know, I did it once. Was it a fluke? And I think that validation of the response from everyone here, even before we've opened, Chris gets on our website messages from people here asking when we're gonna open. So I, I have total faith we'll be all over LA. Thank you. When I found GoDaddy and started building the website, it was an exercise in simplicity. We knew we needed a platform that was quick and fast. It's literally a hub where all of our business goes in from a wholesale side. We get people that write us from all over the world through the website as well. Everything is saved in the back end. So anytime we send out an email marketing. By the way guys, GoDaddy is not a sponsor of this video and, and clearly this video is a sponsored uh, GoDaddy video. Uh, which is the reason why they're talking about it. But nonetheless, I think they're doing an exceptional job with not only their branding, but also identifying that problem in the marketplace and providing a solution to that problem, doing it very, very well, and being able to create a community that loves what they serve. Something that I think is, is the roadmap to any type of business to be successful. Community, identifying the problem and solution, and doing it just super well. This itself would set you apart over 99% of the different businesses out there. We definitely see a spike in traffic. The website is your ultimate online presence. So to have that and make sure we have enough content on there that is really driven towards what we've created is key. In the two and a half years, we have two retail locations, soon to be 36 grocery stores, about 30 restaurants. It's been one of the most exciting and humbling experiences I've, I've ever had in my life. We've taken a pickle beyond being a condiment. It's no longer just something to add to a sandwich or a burger. It stands on its own. To me, my personal success is standing behind the pickle bar and seeing people's reactions every day, how excited they are, how happy they are, knowing that we've created something that people actually love and it makes them happy. That to me is a success. That is, you know what guys, this is a true foodiepreneur, a true restaurateur. Like I, I, it is a feeling that is irreplaceable when it comes down to it. As a chef, as someone that enjoys food, as someone that 
believes in this industry, it truly is about seeing the people enjoying your product, enjoying the hard work that you put in. And that satisfaction is, is hard for anyone else aside from people who are in the trade to comprehend. Why are you working so, so hard 12 hours in the kitchen and why? You're not making the best bucks. No, you're not. But the satisfaction in seeing people's face, the fulfilled face, the happy, or that, you know what, chef, great job. That itself is so rewarding. And it's something that I am truly inspired by. Truly inspired. Uh, these guys are definitely the real deal guys, definitely the real deal. Lots to learn from them. Once again, it's the community. Once again, it's solving a problem in the marketplace. Once again, do something super, super well. I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you guys do, make sure you guys smash that like button. It just shows me and Jason that, hey, you know what? These analyzations of these other businesses to see what we can learn from them is really, really valuable for you. And if you feel like this is valuable, all you have to do, smash that like button to show me. So what we can do is just create more of this for you. So go ahead, smash that like button. I hope you enjoyed this video, friends. I will see you guys in the next video.